guys my name is Dainithi welcome back to my channel books and coffee and today I'm gonna do a very rare book haul <laughs> actually my first ever time doing a book haul on this channel um, but before I get into that I just want to just want to give like a, a little life, life update because if you have been following uh, my channel you know that I did upload a video earlier in the month it's like already uh, nearing Christmas now so that's like a few days left of this month of this year and I had this whole plan to like record and pre-record and film and just upload videos during this time but that did not happen because the company I worked for, we we are like a digital marketing agency, so we got to take part in this really cool sporting event that happened this month and it legit took my entire time and so I, even though like I was on social media like every day, I was just not on this side of social media, so I was on the sporting side. So it was very weird, but so because of that I never got to like I never had time to like edit or record or do anything that I had planned to do but yeah, that is why I have been gone um, for a bit because normally if I'm not on YouTube I'm always pretty active on um, Instagram but that wasn't happening either so I completely just, just disappeared uh, from the book community but I must say like my friends and family have been really patient with me and they have given me all the freedom and all the time and space that I needed to do this so anyway just just a little life update on that and like there's a big life update coming later on like for next year that i will i'll mention it later but today today we're gonna do a book haul i've been wanting to do this like if you have watched my videos you must have seen this um bag <laughs> there for it's been quite it's been there for quite some time because i've been accumulating like a few books that i really wanted to haul and i probably won't be doing a lot of book hauls because again like I don't buy I do buy a lot of books but not enough to do like monthly or like very frequent book hauls so I figured I'll just do one for a year if I can so this will be like the the first and last book haul of this year and these are books that I have I bought like in the last few months and yeah, I have two of these and then I have this big box that came from Scribbit from their book fair so surprisingly most of them are from um, local bookstores which I wasn't planning to but that's how it happened so yeah I'm kind of happy all right so the first bag is from Sarasavi which is weird because I normally don't shop at Sarasavi anymore because their collection is not the best but I was going through this um, website <laughs> I was going through their website um, just one day, I can't even remember when I bought this, this was like early, I think it was September, October so I've been keeping it <laughs> to haul uh, here and I found um, this new release Under the Whispering Door by TJ Klune so he's the one, he's the author of House in the Surreal and Sea which I really loved I read it this year and I heard that he was coming out with this book this year and I wasn't planning, I didn't think it would be available so soon uh, especially at Sarasai, but he was, and here we go. This is the first one. I think it's about a man who um, dies and he ends up in this tea shop. Something like that. I tend not to read the synopsis, um, like at least not all of it. I just skim through it because I don't want to read too much um, when it comes to like a few authors because I know his writing is good and I love his writing, so I know I'm gonna like this book. So I just wanna go into it without knowing anything. So yeah, this is the first one. Then I also got The Wife Upstairs by Rachel Hawkins. I think Gabby from Gabby Reads recommended this and I saw it and I picked it up. So she's the author who wrote um, The Girl on a Train, which again, I really liked. I haven't read any, I think I read her other book, Into the Water, which I didn't love, but, but I liked um, Girl on a Train. So I heard that this is similar, I'm not sure, but people seem to like it. So then my <laughs> beautiful friend, Aisha, I'll leave her, leave her like Instagram all that below. She's amazing and she sent me a book and a funny story because <laughs> she was afraid that I had already bought it so she told me that she got me this book and I knew what it was, right? So 
I didn't have to open it because I knew it. I knew what the book was. But when it came, it was like just nicely wrapped. And if you know, if you're a book lover, you know how, how, how impatient we are when it comes to like unboxing things. Because I just, I just wanted to see the book and have it in my hand. So I just opened it. I didn't have time to like um, film it or anything because I was again busy with work. But I opened it and that was. The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. This is a... So last year I read this book called Prisoner B30... Uh, something... I'll put the... <laughs> I'll put the cover here. So after reading that book, I really liked it. So I wanted to read more of um, books set in like the World War time. So I checked for like book lists, you know, and then this came up like on multiple videos and um, lists uh, in terms of like books set in World War Two. So I really wanted this so I put add it to my TBR and yeah, it was there on my wish list and she got it for me. So thank you so much Aisha. I am really excited to read this. And it's such a it's a fluffy book, you know. Look at this. Like it's the best kind. And look at this this spine. It is so pretty. Amazing. So then, um, a few of us from the book community in Sri Lanka, we got together and we did this really fun secret Santa uh, for Christmas this year and I do have the book right here. <laughs> I can't show it to you because it's being revealed at like another video which if it's already out, I will put it in the description but it was really fun. Uh, I really liked that idea that we could like give gifts to other people and so in that video, uh, we're just gonna unbox our gift and like see our live reaction. And then at the end of the video, so I'm gonna tell who I got to give the gift to, and then that way everybody will be everybody will know who their secret Santa was. So it's really fun. I hope it's already out so I can put it in. If not, um, I will maybe put it in like the next video, and then mention it. So, but I have to say, whoever my secret Santa was was really he or she really got the message that I really wanted this book because I put that on the top of my list, and I got it. I'm really happy about it. All I can say is it's a it's the third book in a series that I really want to read and I want to make a reading vlog out of and I was waiting for this book. So thank you so much, Secret Santa. Alright, so this one is actually well it's not from Lady J. Lady J is a clothing store, but I put them in this bag so they don't it doesn't get dusty. So this set of books I got from Expo Graphics. That is another Sri Lankan bookstore. And surprisingly, they have really upped their game and I'm really happy about it because it's a bookstore that reached out to like the book community in Sri Lanka and they seem to really listen to the books that we want and the books that we read and we're always looking for. So I'm really excited to say that like they have a really good collection now. You guys can check out their website. The website is great. Like They have updated it and they have some really good titles. They brought down specially after we... Um, ran this poll on Instagram. People voted for like what the books that they read and what they want and they really did listen and they brought it down for us so that was really amazing. So I'm really thankful for Expo Graphics. I hope they do it again. I hope we keep this up and this happened. Um, I think I have some few clips. I'll put it there if I can find it but we had this bookstagram meetup kind of thing at Expo Graphics which they organized and they gave us free coffee which was amazing. So it was a fun little um, event where we just went there, we all just got together because most of us have only been talking online, we've never seen each other so it was a really great day to actually meet people and to see all these faces and a lot of us we know each other by our usernames which is not our names most of the time so <laughs> it was nice to see uh, a lot of these people. I had a great time. So during this meetup I got a few books from Expo Graphics from their new uh, collection. And the first one is Anthony Ryan's The Pariah. This is a new series that came out this year, I think. And it's called The Covenant of Steel. This is the first book. And again, I know nothing about this. I just know I just know it's about like a it's an outlaw who's like really good with a blade and he's out for vengeance, something like that. A lot of people that I follow, especially like um, Reagan from Peru's Project, 
um, hyped this book up really. I sh she really liked it. And it's Anthony Ryan, so I'm gonna check it out. The next one is again, this is again a Reagan recommendation, and that is The Black Tongue Thief by Christopher Bullman. Not sure how you pronounce it. But again, um, she really liked it. I don't. I honestly don't know anything about this book. I, <laughs> I was just excited to see it uh, at the store. I wasn't planning to buy it, but then you can never go wrong with a Reagan recommendation. Like she is always spot on. So got this one. And this is a hardcover, and I got it for a really great um, price because they gave us like a twenty percent off um, discount if you come to that meetup and buy books from Expo Graphics. So. Yeah, it's very nice. It's very pretty. Like the cover is like really beautiful. So excited to have it. The last book. This is no surprise to anybody because I know a lot of people have talked about this this year. I just never got a chance to read it. That is the Shadow of the Gods by John Gwynn. I've never read a John Gwynn book, but I heard that this is really great. And it's weird because this. Is blurred by Anthony Ryan and Anthony Ryan's book is blurred by John Gwynn so both of these books <laughs> that's, really, that's pretty cool anyway I really like the cover it reminds me of Game of Thrones so again it's another reason that I bought it I don't know if it's like Game of Thrones but I heard that it has like great characters and great world building so that is all I need to know the next one is the Scribbit book mail bag um, Scribbit had a really great book fair um, right before Big Bad Wolf happened. Big Bad Wolf is another book fair that happens every year and for like the past few years it has not been great so everybody is really disappointed even this year it was terrible. I didn't buy anything from it so I have no books to haul from that book fair but just before that Scribbit had a really amazing one where they had so many titles that I personally liked and a lot of people have wanting and been asking for just like Expo Graphics, they reached out to us and they asked, they paid attention to the books that we read and the books that we talk about, the books that we like. They even had the City of Brass, like the about trilogy, the entire trilogy <laughs> available on Scribbit after me, Aisha and Inosha have been ranting about it on Instagram. So thank you so much for that. Also Rock, Paper, Scissors, which was, I was really surprised to see because I'm the only one who I've been <laughs> recommending it to everybody, so it's great. Thank you so much. That was really cool of you. So yeah, the books, uh, the books came. They took like a really long time to get here, um, but I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna complain. So the first one is Pachinko from Minjing Lee. This is this is again a book that has been recommended to me quite a few times, and. A lot of people have been loving it. There's like a lot of good reviews. I honestly don't know what this is about. So I can't really tell you and I don't really want to read the back of it because I want to go into it completely blind. Let me know if you have read it and if you liked it. I'm interested. This one, I can actually open it because it came wrapped. I can't show you to because I was opening it now. This was a book that I got because basically Brit recommended it a long time ago and it's been on my TBR for a while. I just, it's been on my wish list for a while. But I just never really got around to buying it until I saw it um, at this fair and it was a really good price. Alright, so it is The Sleeping Giants by Sylvain Newell. Um, this is a book she recommended to people who really like sci-fi and she seems to really like it. I think this is the first book in a series, so i excited to read that. What's this? I think this is the used book. I'm not sure because i seen this postcard. You're the best dad. Anyway, I might know why it was such a great price. <laughs> I mean, it looks to be in good condition, so I'm not really bothered about it. This is the other one. And... Okay, I'm going to need a scissor for this. Okay, let's see. It is The Lovely War by Julie Berry. It's again another fluffy book. 
and this is again I think it's a world war yeah in the perilous days of world wars one and two the gods held the fates and the hearts of four mortals in their hands so I think it's a world war inspired fantasy series I don't know if it's a series or a book but yeah again this was this was a bestseller that I just knew that I really um I would really like this was not on my DVR or my wish list but it's good to get things just because you know okay this one I'm really excited to show you because it's not something I normally get and I honestly have no idea about these people but Brit from basically Brit seemed to really like this book and it's a non-fiction so her non-fiction recommendations are really good so I always um, go to her if I need to like read some non-fiction okay so it is Just Kids by Patti Smith Patti Smith is a an American singer and songwriter and this is about oh yeah it also won the National Book Award she saw it but it's a it's a really good um, non-fiction about her life I think and about the death of her husband I'm not really sure don't quote me on that but yeah this is purely because um, Brit really liked it and I have been wanting to read like a good non-fiction lately so I was really surprised to see this on Scribbit because this is not a book that a lot of people talk about I've never heard anybody aside from Brit talking about this so yeah I'm excited to read this I might just pick it up uh, today and the last book on the Scribbit book haul is this one. Oh, you can actually see it. I don't have to open it. It is Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. Never read a Riley Sager book. So, really want to give this a try. Really, I've been wanting to read one of his books, but it was just never available on on audio. And the thrillers, when it comes to thrillers, I prefer to re listen to them rather than read them. But this was available, and it was available for a good price, so, so I got it. So that's it from the Scribbit book fair. I... It was a really good collection, I have to say, and Scribbit normally does not have a lot of um, good books <laughs> on their website, but this book fair uh, particularly had a lot of um, good titles. So if you're ever going to do it again, Scribbit, I highly recommend you do, because a lot of people were really happy with the with your collection, so yeah. Oh, hey! <laughs> they gave a special free... They gave a freebie. It's a tea bag from Halpity. It's English breakfast, so... I will use this. Okay, so the last few books I got from Vigitapa and this, I don't want to say it is my favorite, but it may as well be a favorite because this is definitely a book that I have been waiting for and I didn't think would arrive this soon to Sri Lanka for me to read it because I was already planning to just get the ebook and read that because, yeah, anyway, it is. Jade Legacy by Fonda Lee. It is the last and final book of the Greenbone Saga and it's blurred by Chakraborty who wrote the Deobard series uh, trilogy and yeah I did not even open this book I don't want to spoil myself I just just I just started like just saw the first few pages that's it I don't want to read the last few pages I I need to I'm so excited for this I I don't know if I'm going to do a reading vlog on it, but I'll see. But yeah, I've heard nothing but good reviews for Jade Legacy. A lot of people seem to like, so that actually makes me really happy. Because it's a series that I wanted to end well and to have like a satisfying ending because it, the world building and the story is incredible. The second one was a little bit... Um, odd. It was a little boring for me, but I think I would like it more in rest retrospect. Because this again, like the Poppy War series, is something that you should read as one whole book and yeah probably once I finish it I will read it again from the beginning but anyway look at this cover it's so pretty so I'm going to read this and then probably the non-fiction <laughs> I'm gonna read it all okay and the last few books that here this is a game from Vistapa and this is I bought just because I saw it, okay? And it's it's on my wish list, but I didn't have to get the entire trilogy. 
I thought I stopped doing that, but I clearly didn't and it's just called out to me. So I'm just gonna consider it a Christmas gift I got for myself. <laughs> And that is the Books of Babel trilogy, not trilogy, a series. I know there's a fourth book, but I got the first three ones. Um, Saint Lina Sands, The Arm of the Sphinx, and The Hard King, all by Josiah Bancroft. This is a favorite series of Regans. She's my go-to fantasy recommendations YouTuber. So, yeah. I know that this is about a husband trying to find his wife and going to the Tower of Babel um, to look for her. Anyway, the covers are amazing by the way. The artwork is just it's very creative. Look at these. And then finally this one. I know the fourth book is... I um, can't remember the name but I know it's out and I know a lot of people read it. And really liked it so yeah it's another book I got so that is the end of this book haul I must say Scribit, Expo Graphics and Vigitafa they all have really good books and they're willing to bring down books for us if they ever need it so because Sri Lankans have a really hard time getting books down to the country unless you're ordering online thank you so much for these bookstores especially for having them in the store and I think that's it. I've been really, <laughs> I couldn't wait to um, make this video because I've just been wanting to have these books and start reading them. Like I said, I might just start with Just Kids and Jade Legacy. Jade Legacy is definitely um, happening this month. But I don't know if I'm going to finish it this month. <laughs> that is it for this video, guys. And I have one more video coming out this year. And that is my favorite books of 2021, which will be up soon after this. And that will be it for this year and yeah, can't believe like I did an entire year of booktube and that was, that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> well, I mean, I have been on YouTube for a while, but I think my booktube has been like a little year, a little over like a year. So yeah, but from January to December, I have done booktube, like that's pretty cool. I think I started somewhere in 2020 August or something. But anyway, this was really fun. I hope you like this video. Give a thumbs up if you do. And tell me uh, a book that you really want to read from what I hauled. It'd be really interesting to see what you tell me. So I will see you in my next video. Until then, 